general form. And we've looked at general form. So let's just talk with, uh, start with an investigation or a, a word problem. So here, Lo Lo Lira, sorry, Lira, quenches her thirst after a soccer game by drinking a large glass of water at a constant rate. The straight line graph shows how the volume of water in the glass changes with time. Identify the domain and range of the situation. So does it, can somebody remind me what domain is? The x, the location of the x values. So when we're looking at the x, what is our x-axis here? Time. So we want to, how far left and right does our time go? Between what two values? Zero and, where's the graph end? Twelve. So between zero and twelve. And because we're dealing with time, let's use the variable of t. Or do you want to do x? We'll, leave, we'll just use x. So 0 is, uh, x is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 12. And our range is how far up and down, our y. And what's our y? 0 to, it's volume, 0 to 600. 0 to 600. That's from last unit. Okay, identify the slope of the line segment. What does the, uh, the sign of the slope mean? What does the slope represent? So let's start with finding the slope. How do we find slope in a graph like this? Counting. So we, we still need to find... What do we need to start with? In order to count, how many points do we need to find? Two, two nice points. Now, does it matter which two points we use? No? So let's just use the x and y intercepts. Okay. What's the formula for slope? So we can either use which formula? There's two of them. Rise over run. Or we can use the one with the two points, y2 minus y1. Let's use rise over run. So starting at the 600, rise is first. What direction do we move? Down how much? Down 600, so our sign is? Negative 600, and let's, because there's, it's a contextual problem, let's put units in. Down 600 what? Milliliters. Milliliters. And then we move 12, how many? 12 seconds to the right, which is positive. So if we divide that, what does that give us? Negative 50 milliliters per second. So the first question it asks, if asked, asked us to find the slope, it says, what does the negative sign mean? Why is it negative? What, what's going down? The volume. So the volume that is decreasing, is decreasing, and it's decreasing because of the negative. That negative sign is decreasing at a rate of how much? at a rate of 50 milliliters per second in our glass. So that's what she's drinking. She's drinking 50 milliliters per second. <laughs> what is the y-intercept of this graph? It's the 600 milliliters. What does it represent in the context of this question? The volume of what? of drinking water, basically the volume before she starts drinking, right, of a full glass, the volume of a full cup before she drinks, right? So that's her full amount before she drinks. Let's go down to the last question and jump down, the x-intercept. What's the x-intercept here? 12 seconds. 12 seconds, and what does it represent in the context of the question? Yeah, the time it takes her to, to drink all the water. Negative 50. Negative 50. Okay, write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. What is slope-intercept form? Y equals 
mx plus b. Very good. Okay, so y equals, what's our m? Negative 50 times x. Do we know our y-intercept? Yes, yeah, so we can use this formula right off the bat. Plus, what's our y-intercept? 600. If we didn't know our y-intercept, guess what we have to use? Slope point. Yeah, slope point. Rearrange the equation to be the right side is 0, or the left side. It doesn't matter which side is 0. Let's do the right, well, wh which side do you want to be 0? Left? Yeah, I, I agree. Let's do the left. Okay, so first step to make a general form, what would we do here? Minus y, take away the y, and that gives you 0 equals 50x. Oh, negative 50x, thank you. And then, so x first, then minus y, then plus 600. What's wrong with this picture? x is negative, has to be positive. So how do we make x negative? We switch all our signs, divide everybody by negative 1. So our, it becomes positive 50x plus y, and then negative 600. We switch all our signs. So y and, and our constant can be negative coefficients or negatives, but x can't. And that's general form. All right, turn to the page, or right beside you, I guess. Okay, so do one with you, one you're going to do it on your own. So we're going to rearrange these for general form again, like we have before. What's our first step? We could subtract y or get rid of the fraction. I like to get rid of the fraction first. Doesn't matter though. So multiply everybody by 3. So my equation was y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 6. I'm just going to write it again so it's bigger. And we want to multiply everybody by 3. Alrighty, 3 times y. 3y. 3 times negative 2 over 3x. Negative 2x. Don't forget the negative 2. And then plus 3 times 6, 18. Okay, next step. Minus the 3y, if we want one side equals 0, negative 2x minus 3y plus 18. Is this general form? No, x is negative, so what are we going to do with all our signs? Switch them. Positive 2x plus 3y minus 18. We divide by negative 1. Okay, can you please try the next one on your own? Try the next one on your own. What was your first step? Times everyone by 4. So we had 4y equals 3, 3x minus 8. And then minus 4y. And this one's nice because the x is positive. So 3x minus 4y minus 8. Okay, before we end here, really quick, couple quick notes. Number one. If you see an equation, you might want to write this down at the bottom of the page here. y equals mx plus b. y equals mx plus b. Uh, give me an example of an equation that's y equals mx plus b. y equals, let's do a fraction in there. y equals 4 over, uh, no, 3 over 2x minus 5. Okay, that's an example. So what's that equation called? Slope, slope y-intercept, or slope-intercept form. Okay. The next guy, if I had y plus 2 equals 3 over 2x minus 5. What's that called? Slope point form. Slope point form. And then we have, give me an example of ax plus by plus c equals 0. 5x minus 5y plus 9. You couldn't, we couldn't have put 10 there 
because if we can reduce it all, we do. We shouldn't have like something you could factor out of everybody. Okay, and what's he called? General form. And there's one more, which we don't rarely use, but you might just have to name him. We, we, I did mention this before, ax plus by equals c. So if you had like 2x minus 3y equals 5. That is called standard form, when your constant is all by itself, and there's no fractions. x plus y equals constant is called standard form. Okay? Standard form. So your assignment today is from page 384. We have lots of time to work on that. If you finish early, you are going to lose a period on Wednesday due to the Christmas carol. So if you finish this early, you're going to want to get started on tomorrow's homework, which is uh, the last worksheet in the brown booklet. But worry about today right now. It's page 384, and we have lots of time for homework. So Wednesday would be the prat. No, Wednesday we're gone. It would have been. Would have been a homework period for that worksheet. But we lose that. Okay, and then Thursday practice exam, Friday is your unit exam. Okay.